crystals and rhinestones look so great on the nails, but unfortunately after 3 or 4 weeks it's time to take them off. In this video I will give you 5 ways. First one is sock off, but it will work only if you use sock off products, it is usually when you're working on the natural nails. Second one is nail clippers, which is good, but it won't work if you use the large size rhinestones like this one, as they won't simply open that big, so it will work only for small rhinestones. Three is sharp pusher, which I highly recommend not to use, as you can accidentally damage the surrounding skin. Next one is carbide drill bits, and for acrylic or gel nails I recommend to use black or green abrasive marks, which is coarse to medium, and for natural nails or gel polishes I recommend to take blue or red abrasive marks, which is medium and medium fine, and also do not forget to protect your eyes, face and your client's face as well. And the last, number 5, is my favorite one, the one I use most of the time, is to use your old nippers. So they can be any size, but I personally prefer the smaller size, because it's easier to work with them. And do not use the ones you use for cutting the cuticles, as they won't be as sharp anymore once you use them for the rhinestones. And it's easy to use, like you need to open the blades and simply take the rhinestone and close it. So depending on what you use to secure them, it's usually pretty fast and easy, but sometimes if you secure them really well, like it takes some time until you can remove it, but still you can work with the sharp end of the nippers and remove them all. It will work if you want to remove rhinestones on the designs like this, or even if you have the whole nail covered with crystals. Also, do not forget to cover it up a little bit with your finger, so the rhinestones will not jump off and fall in somebody's face or eyes, so be careful with that one. Let me know what do you guys use to remove crystals or rhinestones from your client's nails. So this was my favorite method on my channel, I share nail art tutorials, tips and tricks for nail tech, so if you are into nail art just like me, consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!